right here we are at the trick point. And all round just beauty, just watch it over there, mine head further over by the hill over there. And the patchwork quilt of Somerset stretched out before you and beyond is Exmoor. And I want to get on that, there's a hill over there, I want to get on that this summer. That's on my list for this summer. I've just come up from Smith's Coombe down there where that those trees are. And over the last couple of weeks I've been following the coast line right round, roughly about over to Kilf over there. I done bits and pieces over that way. Not long ago, in the winter, more colder months, I've done stretches over there with the um, nature reserve. I can't remember the name of it at the moment. Go for Cummage Way. I've done all that by the River Parrot. And um, I'll just zoom in down there where I was the day before yesterday, where I parked Alberta. There's the Luttrell family home. The court, it's called the courthouse. The church is right in front of it, which I've been in and videoed. And um, there's the car park. So, see that white car? That's where I parked Old Berta the other day, down there. And there's the, the lovely little thatch roof village. So, we're now seeing that from right up here on the Quantox. I mean, I refer to the Quantox quite a lot. And uh, well, I'm down there, I'm looking up here, and now I'm looking down there. It's good, isn't it? Right, just turning off a minute, take a picture of that. Right then, folks, I'm going down what's known as Beacon Hill from the trick point just to find out roughly what's down here. And there's a little car park where you could come if you wanted to explore all this. The other side of the Quantox, if you like, that I don't know so much about. Um, which isn't priority on my list at the moment, but there is this side as well. And this is this is where I am at the moment. This is National Trust and it's called the Plantation. And I think if you go down, you pick up a track down the bottom, that would take you to um, Bick Bicknoller. I mean, we're spoilt for choice, really, aren't we? We're spoilt for choice. So I've just come through. I've, this is just a little tiny bit of extra that I did, just to do a bit more recce. But I not, still don't really know how you get up here. There is a, a road, but I'd, I'd have to really... I've got, there's a reference point on the pole. I'd have to look deeply into the map. But it's not, like I said, it's not on my list. It isn't a, um, a priority this summer to come back and do this bit. So... There's a little picnic area here with some benches. If you've done a big walk and you sit and rest for a while, park your vehicle up. Look. I've just walked down on purpose from the trick point on Beacon Hill just to see what there is down here, you see. And here we have the track I'm going to go up and round. But as you know this, you could just have a day exploring all this. You could come up here, you know, but it's not on my list of priorities at the moment. This is what I call extra. Now we're going to be right out in the heat in a minute. I did see someone with two Labradors. Doesn't mean they're coming my way. They might have cars here. But there's the road. 
this is what you have to come up. So it's going to be West Quantock Head, I should think, somewhere down there. I'm not going to go walking down there just to see where it is. I'll find it on Google. So we're on the return trip now. I'm back down. We're going to skirt Beacon Hill. We've been on top of it and we've walked down it. Then we'll go and we'll find our track down to Holford. But you see there's a valley there, all of its own. That you can probably get from Bicknoller Post. But like I said, it's not on my, my list. But here we have it, I got the reference point of uh, Beacon Hill. 117411. So this is called Staple Plain. Part of the Quantock Hills area of outstanding natural beauty, this expanse of heathland offers panoramic views, peaceful walks and fantastic wildlife. There's circular walks you can follow. I sit there and it takes an hour to get up on the, to the trick point. Lowland heath like this were first created 5,000 years ago when the Stone Age people burnt the forest for growing land or something land. I've, I've taken a picture of that, I'll read it at home. But there's an image, look, I am here. I am here. I've just come down sh from up there. Okay. I've just come down from up there and all the way down. Earlier I was right over this way, uh, um, down here. Now I'm going to go up that way to Picknola Post. Up and up. We're going to go up for a little while, but it's not as high as going up to the trig point. But it is a stoke, sli steady climb that eases off and then, as far as I'm concerned after that, it's all downhill back to Alberta. So there's one little bit of an incline now. Just one bit of an incline. It's really hot, by the way. I've got um, a whole bottle of water left. Plenty of water in the van. And I'm going to have a herbal tea and a bit of cake when I get back. And I've still got my cheese and tomato. See, in the winter... When all this is died back, you'll find other little roots that you can nip through. But uh, you've got to wait for the winter for that. Right then, because it's quite hot and I'm going uphill, just left that little area there, Staple Plain. Where there's another place you can park if you want to explore this side of the Quandox. Right over now.